missing squad detectives here in Victoria arrested a 55-year-old man from Carolyn Springs in Melbourne's West around 5.30 yesterday. They just released uh, the media release saying that that had happened and they are currently in the process of interviewing him this morning. But they're not giving any further information to us at the moment because they say that the investigation is ongoing. Now, just in terms of these missing campers, Russell Kill and Carol Clay went missing, as you mentioned, 20 months ago in remote bushland in the Wanangatta Valley, which is up in the high country in Victoria's northeast. And at the time, police suspected that they had met with foul play, but their bodies or the, any trace of them has never been found. And what more can you tell us about this case and the attention that it's received in Victoria? Yes, it's really one of those enduring mysteries that we've had because of the fact that they just seemingly vanished into the wilderness. Now, you can see there the pictures of the burnt out, the scorched campsite there uh, and just their car. There was also a drone that was missing as well. But there was, as I mentioned, no trace whatsoever of these two longtime family friends. Now, just last week, we heard from police saying that they were confident of a breakthrough and they had been developing a new theory. And in fact, we heard from family members of the missing campers just tearfully really imploring anybody to come forward and give them further information. Police were also hoping that as the restrictions from coronavirus also ease, that some uh, campers and walkers out there might stumble across fresh clues as well in that Wanangatta Valley. And so they were asking for anybody who saw any clothing or any other items that seemed to be out of place to contact them immediately. Uh, there was a suggestion that they thought that they might be dealing with somebody who had been working in concert with another person, uh, but obviously this new arrest is quite a breakthrough in terms of the missing person squad interviewing this 55-year-old man. We are still waiting to hear some further information from the police uh, and that no doubt will be forthcoming once they wrap up their interview. And yet yeah, no indication of a media conference at this stage? No, they have said that uh, because they are in the throes of doing this interview, that it still remains an operational matter. But uh, obviously, uh, this is something that has really captured the attention, as you mentioned, of Victorians just trying to work out exactly what happened to this pair. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more answers soon.